uh, Warmaster. So today we are doing a tutorial of uh, European War 7. Uh, this one is, has to be done and it's really important because uh, from the past few games, uh, not everybody understand the concept and the basic mechanics of the games and it has made uh, a lot of confusions to the players and EasyTech would like to fix that problem right now by showing you all the tutorial which is really important. So first go to the first tutorial. Beginner's tutorial, learn simple controls such as how to move in attack. Okay. So, with three condition is occupy all key areas. Defeat condition is play your force defeat. Okay, confirm. So, welcome to the middle age. Here I will teach you how some basic knowledge. Uh, battle knowledge, my apologies. Okay. Select the unit arrow uh, is pointing, and then select destination to move. Okay, this one. And you can see all the green dots. So, by green dots, this means that you can move to every place this you want. Okay, you can also select multiple areas cons uh, securely for multiple continuous movement, but the overall travel path is fixed. You can also go here as well, which is similar to the Total War system. They have their movement points. This is called the movement points, uh, in which allows you to know that uh, how long or how far you can go. Okay, and there's also a retreat button right here. Okay, if the unit has used all its mobility when it reached the target area, it won't be able to launch an attack, which is true. This is this this is the total war mechanics, uh, similar all together. That's nice. This one from the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, you can attack this one here. I also disable my uh, combat scene. Okay, select on that again to double attack. Okay. Deploy general for your units, it can greatly improve the unit fighting strength. So I have my heavy knights right here. I click on my generals. This is the three generals. Michael the third, the, no, the seven. Okay. Each general have active skill. Different generals have different active skills. Okay. So this skill set is immediately lower. Rampant durability by 30%. Round 30%. Five round cooldown. So attack on this one here. Okay. The key area, this is a key target area, occupy this area and achieve objective to win, okay. Now that you know the basic of fighting battles, be prepared for war, okay. Okay, let's go. Okay. Uh, you can see here, after I attack, if I move again, I cannot attack. Meaning, if the unit stays together, you can attack like two times. But if you stay far away, it's only one, so this is only once. Okay, one for three, okay. I have this one too. Let's move it here. Attack only once. This one here as well. I love, I love the knight. It looks absolutely amazing. You can see the knight right here. That's that's actually cool, bro. Okay, so we can just attack it. Another one, yeah. Good. Okay, so now that's easy. So that is the first tutorial. Okay, now we'll go to the second tutorial. Basic tutorial, learn basic controls such as recruitment, disbandment, replenishment, and mixed units operations. Okay. So, Kingdom of France, defeat all enemies, play your force defeat. Okay. So, click on your city, click on recruits, and click on recruits again. Different types of unit can be integrated into a squad. So, now you can recruit another troops, and you can enlist as a swordsman. Okay. And then you click recruits. Okay. Tap the button on the lower right corner to go to the next round, which is the... Hourglass, okay. Please click at the button on the right corner, okay. I'll say end your turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you're fighting against the Vikings, and they're also special unit as well. One of your unit is under attack. We can disband the unit with less troop, okay. When unit has less than three squadron left, we can replenish it, okay. Click on that one, info, and you can dismiss one of the troops if it has lower health. Unit replenishment is not limited by unit types, okay? So you click on that, send it here, and you send the one that lost all the health points. Send it here, click on recruits, click on melee cavalry, click on square cavalry, click on recruits, and now you have an infantry with a cavalry. Now you just gain victory with the specific number of rounds. Okay, so uh, what do we do? I kill everyone? Okay. Nice. Oh, that's pretty dope. Damage is OP. Oh, I like this guy. You can see here. Boom. Yeah, that's, that's dope. Okay, this one too. Just attack. Cavalry. OP. Cavalry just like tanks. But in the old days. Attack. 252. 
277 and now it's 152 and another one 211 okay And now you attack again. And again. And again. And again. And again. Okay. Another one. Yeah, he's dead. Good. Uh here two. Okay. And turns. 165 125 okay so that is the second tutorial pretty easy so now it's the fourth tutorial intermediate tutorial learn the cities and castle construction and functions and mercenary recruitments enter okay so you got Arab Empire okay that's good hold all key area for 20 rounds I'll buy less than one key area that's okay next let's try building something okay go here click on the cities uh, different facility have different effects. Okay, understandable. Works all the time. Mm hmm. Uh, okay. Cities, workshops, house, fortifications, upgrades. Okay. So you can click upgrade in each one of them. This is a village. A village can upgrade into a castle. Ooh, interesting. With a village, with a castle, uh, you can recruit units that are unavailable in the cities. Okay. Click on that, castle, upgrades, and cross. And this one here, castle can be upgrade, upgrade castle to recruit high level units. Oh, that's pretty cool. Upgrades. Mm -hmm. And the morale of the units has been reduced from being attacked. Replenish a unit can restore a certain amount of uh, moral. Okay, morale. Info. Okay, so this is the morale numbers. It's 48 out of 100. It's pretty low. Go there and recruits and heavy armor cavalry and now we need to defend the key areas of course you can choose eliminate the enemies instead okay i mean i will try okay i will just try to attack the enemy rather than just waiting for 20 turns for doing nothing at all okay Okay, so now I'll go down here. Okay, so now you can recruit like a Varagin Guard, Garrison Spearman, Legion Spearman. I will go with Legion. Legion looks better. Uh, this is the Byzantine Empire. Oh, maybe I need to mix it with... Uh, Heavy armor cavalry. Nice. Oh, this is dope. Okay, that's cool. And attack this one too. Okay. Okay, so we send him here, send another one up, or maybe send him to the castle, we can recruit somebody else. Uh, here, generals. Oh, these are free generals! Okay, Thomas. Thomas looks great, why not? Okay. Mm, Michael the Seven. Uh, generals. Okay, cavalry. Okay, so I think it's just one left. Okay, that's this for the third one. Uh, we'll see about the fourth one. So we're going with the final tutorial. This is Gaiden 4. 
Advanced tutorial learn how to wait, learn about war gear assembly and use supported buildings. Okay. So this is the fourth one. Okay, so you can play as England. There are buildings scattered across the maps and silver mines can provide the revenue of silver. Okay, you click on that and you see uh, plus 10%. No, plus 10 for silver. Okay. Uh, okay, iron mine can also bring iron. Okay, plus 5. Okay, that's good. And different terrains will lead to different mobility consumptions and compound terrain will cause higher mobility consumption. Okay, so this is compound. Okay, and this is a normal cities with wonders. Okay, so Tower London range infantry damage dealt 10%. Wonders have special effects on your forces. Wonder in different countries have different effects. Cross, okay, and unit can only assess rivers or sea when loaded on ships. Really? The hell? War gears. Oh, so you need to accept war gear for that. At the beginning of each round, you will gain a scientific point which can. Uh, be used to assemble gears of war. Okay, okay. Please probably distribute your scientific points. Okay, so meaning it will be given to you in each and different battles, and it will consumes it all. Equip, go here so not become ships. So try to avoid loading ship in cavalry units. Why? Info. Okay. So here you can view policy of your powers. Only in conquest mode model you can you can independently have research on the policy. Okay. So this is your stat. Here you check your population, ambition, and economic condition. Peaceful, tax normal. Okay. So if you're going to war, it's gonna be war economy or war tax. Uh, attention, excessive uh, population burden will increase your ambition and affect your economy. Okay. You finished your tutorial. Really? I haven't done anything. Okay, I understand so now. Uh, okay, I have this one. So I just got my reward. Where's Attila? Okay. Mm hmm. And uh, strike the enemy. Ooh, noise. Uh, Karak warship. Not that bad, lah. Okay, this is a free general. Use it while you have. Okay. Uh, okay, let me get a war gear. Karak warships equip. Mm-hmm. That's a big ass ships right there. Okay, so let, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Uh just a just a moment. Uh this is the medieval. The ships looks like they are from the Enlightenment age. But I guess the age of medieval or the age of discovery, I think it have the same value of uh of ships. I mean it looks similar. Okay, so you can move your troops right here now. Uh, I have so Robin Hood is more of a uh, archer, so yeah. Tidoric is cavalry, still Chilio is mix, so yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay, another one. Nice. Good. Okay, so now... Now we can take this. Okay. Even the seas have border now. Okay. Interesting. Easy tech. Seven hundred, goddamn, two seventy nine. Okay, three ninety nine. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, let's move here. Oh, so you can do this. I cannot do nothing. Okay, so if I have my ships, 
I have an attack of cities. The city will not attack me back. Okay. Which is great. Okay. Okay, so this is the final tutorial. I hope you guys find this uh, tutorial understandable. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will also do the conquest tutorial today as well. So we'll talk about that later. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.